Good morning, my followers on YouTube. Welcome to Catfish Therapy. Um, it's Saturday. Hope everybody's going to have a good weekend. Make it as la last as long as we can. Um, it goes by super fast. But I was going to bring y'all a video on raising some night crawlers. And I had them in this ice cream bucket. For a while, and I noticed, like on the boat and stuff, trying to dig them out, the dirt would, um, you know, fall out of the bucket, and then it's on your carpet or on your deck or whatever. But so I upgraded to a five-gallon bucket, <coughs> which I needed more room, anyways. Cause look at that little guy; he's getting ready to right there. He's starting to go in. But there's little upkeep maintenance to them. All you gotta do is add, you can use anything from shredded paper <coughs> to coffee filters, coffee grains, um, cardboard. So I save my toilet paper rolls and, um, and throw them in there time to time. Check on them about once a month and throw some shred paper from the paper shredder to make sure the dirt's a little moist when you first start when you add dirt and then just drill you some holes for air so they can breathe and keep them in the keep them in the dark <clears throat> i keep them under a desk in the basement but i was just going to show you guys some they don't like light too well. Ooh, ain't good with camera yet. But you can see some little ones in there. I've had them since about um, last last fall, about September, and it's right now end of January, first of February. So. There's another little guy. But yeah. And then I figured in a bigger bucket, you know, the dirt won't fall out and stuff. It's bad. Or if you're wanting to bait your hook, you can just bait it over the bucket or something. Especially my other people I take out fishing and stuff. But yeah, I just figured I'd bring you a video. I mean, something to consider. I said going out to Walmart or a bait shop and I'm going to just leave that in there probably and let them crawl out and crawl into the new dirt and put the lid on it but back to what I was saying um, it's probably better than going to Walmart or to a bait shop and paying a couple dollars for a bucket of night crawlers or red worms um, then y'all guys know I bought a pontoon a week, about a week ago, and I'm gonna show you an update so far. I said in between working full-time job and night job, I'm putting in about 60 hours a week, a little more. Um, but I got all the carpet off, or all the seats out. I got from Charlotte, and it was pouring the rain, so I'm letting it dry out real good. I'm gonna scrub the carpet. It's supposed to be pretty for the next couple days. Um, but yep, down the side of it. It's supposed to be pretty the next couple days, so I'm gonna try to look the moons out. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But get it scrubbed real good and dried out. And then I got about eight monster rod holders that's going to go on it and in the back I'm probably going to they had a big lazy bed pan thing right there but I want to get out it was dry rotten a little bit with the interior they um replaced it my hand show you the interior on it they replaced it last summer and I'm going to thoroughly clean it real good one good time before 
fishing season starts up here shortly. And then a big 60 horsepower, four stroke motor. I had another pontoon um, last season and it had a two stroke motor on it and it just chugged the gas. But so it all needs to be detailed, clean, pretty good. It's a 2005. I picked it up for $5,500, so I don't think it's too bad of a deal. It don't have aluminum floor, it has the plywood floor, or marine floor, but it'll work for a fishing boat. But anyways, I hope you have a good day, and we'll catch you on the next video.